In this podcast, I'm just going to go through with you the rough layout of the mix window in Logic, and it will also tie in with a couple of other podcasts that I'm doing on signal processors and effects with auxiliary tracks and groups. The first thing we need to do is bring up the mix window. So go to window and just click on mixer. And as you can see, you've got your virtual mixer there. I'm just gonna go through each part of the mixer individually and show you what each bit's for and what it does. So obviously along the bottom here are all your tracks. Now will probably be a good time to start naming all of your tracks. So if you just double click, it brings up a text box and you can name it whatever you want. So. And, and so on and so forth. So now you know which track's which. Um, the way Logic colours the tracks, the blue tracks are audio and the green ones are MIDI. And the beigey kind of coloured ones are all your master, master faders and auxiliaries. You can obviously change the colours of the tracks, but it's better off to just leave it as it is. It makes it less confusing. So the best way to think of this is like any hardware mixer. Each channel strip is exactly the same, so where your inserts on this track are, it will mean exactly the same thing on this track up here. So I'm just going to have a look at one of the channel strips, and just remember it applies to everything. Okay, so starting from the top, this button here that says setting brings down a drop down menu. This button allows you to create presets out of all your channel strip settings, so say you've got a channel strip and you've got an EQ, a couple of delays, a couple of reverbs, you can save that channel strip setting and load it up on any other channel strip you want, um, either in this mix or in any other track that you're making on Logic. The next one down is EQ, so if you double click on that, it brings up Logic's parametric EQ. You can add other EQs, but they just put this on every channel strip just for ease because they know everyone is going to use EQ on pretty much every track. As you can see it's pretty standard EQ that you've probably maybe seen before. You can either do it visually and just click and drag bits that you want to take in or out or you can do it manually down the bottom here if you prefer by adjusting all the different numbers to create the sound that you want. The next section I'm going to look at is the insert section here. As you can see the EQ's already popped up and below that there's another box which is where you're going to insert your next signal processor. So let's go for a compressor. So now you can see we've added a compressor and another box has popped up. So you can literally just keep adding and adding as many inserts as you want. The next section down are the sends. Sends are basically just internal routing throughout the digital mixing desk. So you use sends to send to the different auxiliary tracks that you've got in your mix. I'll have a look at the sends in more detail when I go through the effects because effects go on auxiliary tracks and sends connect the channel strip to the auxiliary tracks. This here, the ins and outs, uh, that where it says reactor 5 is what synth I'm using within Logic. The output is where you want your signal to go so technically most of the time it will be output one and two. This blank box here determines which group your track gets sent to, if any, for that, which also again I'll have a look at in more detail in a different podcast. This here is the automation settings, so you've got your four different automation options there. Panning and lastly the level of your track. <laughs> 